Dear friends, welcome back. Today we built a simple temperature monitor using a D18B20 temperature sensor, this module here, a Nokia 5210 LCD display and an Arduino Mega. This project is very easy to use and uh, it's very easy to construct as well. It is ideal for beginners because, because as we said, it is very, very easy to build. Don't be fooled by the wires here. Those wires are needed for driving the LCD display. This module here, this temperature sensor, only needs three wires to operate. But let's build it. So that's the temperature sensor module that we have bought for around two euros from eBay. It contains the DS 18B20 sensor. And uh, all you have to do is to connect those, th those three pins and you are ready to go. The plus goes to PCC, minus goes to ground, and output goes to a digital pin on Arduino. This sensor is very easy to use because it uses the one wire protocol to communicate with Arduino. So we only need to connect one wire to a digital pin and we are ready to go. So let's connect it. Okay, I have now connected the module to the breadboard and now we are ready to plug in the wires. First, let's plug in the negative. Negative wire goes to ground of the breadboard. It is not connected yet, but we connect it now. Next, a positive wire goes from plus to Arduino VCC. And we take another wire. Let's get the green one. The green one will go to a digital pin or an Arduino. I'm going to connect it to digital pin number 7 on Arduino. Okay. Digital pin number 7. Okay. Okay. Let's now connect the power. We take 3.3 volts or 5 volts. 3.3 volts are better for the display. And we connect it to the breadboard here. And we are taking a ground wire from Arduino to the breadboard ground. That's the basic setup. Now the sensor can work with the Arduino. But let's now connect the LCD display. In order to see how to connect the Nokia 5110 LCD display, please watch our previous very detailed video about that. You can find the link in the description of the video. Now that we have connected all the wires, we are ready to power the project up and see if it is working. Let's see. Okay, it's working great. Now, let's see the code. It's easier than the wiring. Let's do it. First of all, we have to download two libraries in order to use this sensor. The first library is the one wire library, which can be downloaded from this link. You can find the links for the libraries in the description of the video. So we click download one wire zip and we unzip it in the desktop unzipping one wire library the next library we have to uh, download is the mile bartons arduino temperature control library we download zip from here and we uh, unzip it in the desktop as well that library has to be renamed to something else because it has uh, invalid characters for library folders so let's uh, rename it to ds18b20 all we have to do is to cut those two libraries and paste them in the arduino libraries folder like this now we are ready to use the libraries i have prepared two sketches for you the first one uh, does not use the Nokia 5110 LCD displays, display in case you don't have one. So all you need to do is to open the serial temperature sketch in your Arduino uh, IDE and compile and run it. If you then open the serial monitor, you can see that uh, the Arduino reports back temperature in both Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit. If you do have a Nokia 5110 LCD display, you can load up the temperature Nokia 5110 sketch that uh, I provide and uh, load it to your Arduino ID. This uh, project consists of two files. The one is the .ino file and the other one is the temperature icon.c file which contains the binary data 
uh, for the little icon that we display along with the temperature. So you need both of those files. As you can see, uh, the temperature icon.c file consists of binary data. Uh, when you open up the project, as you can see, it's very straightforward. We declare the pin that we have connected the sensor to. We declare the Nokia pinout, the Nokia LCD pinout, um, and uh, we initialize the LCD and the sensors. Uh, we draw the little icon and we request temperature. We get temperature and we get the temperature in degrees Celsius and we convert it to degrees Fahrenheit and then convert this float number to a string and pre print it in the display. The default value for displaying the temperature is in degrees Fahrenheit. If you need to display the temperature in degrees Celsius, we ha you have to comment this line here and uncomment this line here. Uh, now the project, will, the sketch, will display temperature in degrees Celsius. It's very easy. You can find the code and all the files, the temperature C file and the other sketch in the description of the video. I have put some links there. So download it and have fun with it. So that's today's project. As you can see right now, temperature is displayed in degrees Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. We only changed a line in the code. Um, as, you, as we said, the project is very easy to build and the cost of this is very low. You, can, you have to spend around 2 euros for the module, temperature sensor module, about 2 euros for the LCD display, 4 euros, and you can choose from any Arduino platform you like, an Arduino Nano for around 3 euros or an Arduino Mega for around 10 euros. It's up to you. So, thanks for watching our project. Please subscribe to our channel, post any comments in the comments or any questions and see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.